The diagram shows a pH curve produced by adding a strong alkali to a weak acid. Where is it a buffer? So we've got to remember that a buffer is a solution which re resists changes in pH upon addition of small amounts of acid or alkali, where, which means that as we're changing the volume of alkali, what we need to ha see is that the pH isn't changing. So that the pH is pretty constant at both B and D, the flat parts. But which one of those is a buffer? Well, a buffer is a mixture of a weak acid and its salt. So what have we got at each point on this curve? At A, all we've got is weak acid. As we start to add alkali, some of the weak acid will have turned into salt because acid plus alkali equals salt and water. So we will have got some salt, but because we haven't added enough to hit equivalence yet, we have got a mixture of weak acid and salt. Here we're at equivalence, and when we're at equivalence, that all of the weak acid is gone, and all we've got is salt and water. And when we're at D, we've added more alkali than we needed, so now we've got salt and water and excess alkali. So pH is remaining pretty constant at D because it's just the pH of the alkali. pH is remaining constant at B because we've formed a buffer until we hit the point where we've neutralised all of our weak acid and now we don't have a mixture of weak acid and salt anymore, we've just got salt and water. So we get this buffering region where it flattens out the curve in the middle.